Morning, Leon. Uh, how much are you pumped just to get back to playing after? I know the rest did you guys so well, but just to get focused on getting ready for a big game. Uh, yeah, I think we're all excited. Um, obviously, these things happen um, uh, in in this um, you know special season. So um, a lot of teams have gone through it. We can't let that um, you know take any momentum away from from the way we've been playing. So um, not much we could have done differently, uh, obviously, but. Uh, I think we're all looking forward to tomorrow. Dave Tippett has a very even hand as a coach and even keel. Uh, does that help you guys during a sequencing where you had the tough series against Toronto, but conversely have responded and played pretty well since just sort of being focused literally one shift or one game at a time instead of maybe dwelling too much on the highs or dwelling too much on the lows? Yeah, I mean, obviously Tip has done a good job, um, but I think that us as a group we know how to play we know that we can't get too high we can't get too low um i think we've really kind of figured out how um how it works and, and how we have to play and how we have to prepare so um yeah i think we're, we're a good team and obviously we're, we're looking to to continue that starting tomorrow josh clipperton canadian press hey leon just wondering if you can let us know what the last week's been like for you guys you usually you know a week in montreal would be, would be pretty great did, did you like just finish netflix like what was the week like uh yeah a lot of sitting around <laughs> a lot of time with the guys obviously but um you know it was we took it as a a good practice week a good rest week for us um obviously we didn't we didn't um you know plan it out the way it happened but you know these things happen like i said and um you know we're looking to get back into it tomorrow and not, not pointing any blame in Montreal, but just another reminder of, of how invasive the virus can be and how diligent you have to be, you know, especially with the variants now, just in how quickly things can change. Yeah, you got to be careful. Um, I mean, not not much else to be said. Um, you don't want this to happen um, to anyone, obviously. Um, but yeah, like I said, just got to be careful and, and, and be smart about it. Brian Rashog, TSN. Leon, I know that series against Toronto was a, you know, it was a frustrating week for you guys, but you seem to bounce back and, and find this, find your game and find that same level you were at before. How do you think, you know, how do you think you guys were able to bounce back from that the way you were and why? Because um, I think we knew the importance of it. Um, you know, it was a critical stretch of the season um, uh, where we obviously didn't play the way that, uh, we wanted to uh, those three games uh, against Toronto, but uh, we knew that we can't let the slide any longer. And uh, I think that was the key. And, and um, that was a, a, a big step in the right direction to, to come back and, um, you know, win, win the next three or whatever it was. Um, so, yeah, that, that was big for a team. That was a big, uh, um, big help for, for, for the standings wise. So, um, yeah, we're obviously looking to continue that and, and get them back tomorrow. There's still a lot of runway, so I mean, you don't want to <clears throat> overstate the importance of games, but when a team beats you three in a row the way they did, and then you've got a couple more games against them here, like how important is it to, you know, to, to, to beat this team and to not let them kind of hold that over you in case you do play a playoff series against them? Yeah, exactly. Like you said, um, you never know what's going to happen at the end. Um, you know, we might be playing them in, in seven more games. So you obviously want to send a message. Um, we want to we want to beat them and show them that that we're a good team too. So um, those next two games are going to be fun. They're going to be exciting. Uh, I think fans will love it. And obviously, uh, we don't have to talk about the, about the uh, importance. Jason Gregor, TSN twelve sixty. Leon, and I apologize if I missed this, but um, d during this break. Uh, you know, you guys have played a lot of hockey, and, and even though you have these three games kind of rescheduled, uh, you don't have a, a heavy schedule like Montreal is going to start with 25 games in 44 days or whatever it is. So how how is this break? How can it help you, this unexpected week off? Uh, I, I mean, it's it's nice to have a couple of days off for sure. Um, you know, get some practices in and, and rest up a little bit. Um, but obviously... You know, it's not like those games are just going to disappear. We're going to have to um, play them play them at a at a later later point in the season. But um, yeah, sometimes sometimes it's just nice to have a couple of days off and, and reset. And um, 
I think it came uh, at, at a good time for us. In your last 25 games, you guys are 18 and seven. You're second in goals for, but maybe more importantly, though, you're ninth in goals against. And, and you talked about this from the start of the year. You wanted to improve there as a team. And you no, know, 25 games, that's almost half a season. You've shown that as a group. How confident are you that, that this team has maybe turned that corner and learned how to be a sound defensive team? Yeah, it's great. Um, it, it's gotten us to this point, um, you know, being up there in the standings and, and you know, giving us a chance to make the playoffs. And, um, you know, obviously I'm very happy that we're learning it. Um, we've always had a young younger core group, and, and those are just things that you have to go through sometimes to to learn it. And But I think we've done a great job of, of accepting it and, and um, you know, realizing that that's what we need to do. And, um, yeah. Obviously, we're, we're looking to get better, looking to continue every year, uh, every game. So uh, we'll just we'll just keep working on it. Jack Michael, 6-3, Chad. Leon, a couple of your recent right wingers, you know, brought up something in my mind, just that the Oilers might not be that big, but they've got guys who play big. Are Archibald and Yamamoto examples of that? Yeah, I mean, I think they're they're – prime example for that um two smaller guys fast but they play uh they play right in your face they play up against you they play almost inside you so um those are never fun fun players to play against um you know speaking from my own uh um uh yeah from my own experience and um you know it's great to have these two guys uh, and and the other guys on our team uh they've, they've played great all year and they, they're they really help us um you know be be a tougher team to play against and leon is there a balance just going back to toronto is there a balance not putting too much stock in these two games because i kind of hear you also you know kind of implying that ultimately while you know it'd be nice to get the two games the real important stuff comes comes later in may is that the balance that the team is trying to strike is understanding that these games are important but you're playing for a greater goal uh yeah absolutely i mean you know th these two games are important um but they're not the end of the world and they're not season deciding so um we obviously we want to get them back. Uh, there's no question about that. But at the same time, we, we have to understand that um, this isn't this isn't do or die for us right now. These two games. So um, we got to play our game. We got to be sound defensively, play a good road game, solid road game. And um, I think we have a good, good chance of winning some games.